Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel again. So the last class we have uh, discussed about the demo tool. How we need to simulate about the demo demo tool in our black hat commando. So let me re redirect to the demo tool. Okay. So this is the home page of our demo tool. Uh, let me quickly navigate into the window selects, and uh, so we can see here. Here that an alert regarding deleted windows important scheduled task has been deleted. Okay. The category is task scheduler. Okay, fine. This alert detects when an advisory tries to stop system services process by deleting their respective scheduled tasks. Okay. In the backend of the window system, some advisories has trying to stop the scheduled process when an attack occurs. It might be a false positive or uh, like some hardware failures and network failures been occurred. That also I'll explain when we need to check what type of alert it is. It is a critical alert. Okay, fine. We need to see the rule on what basis this alert was triggered on what events this alert has been triggered. Okay, fine. Uh, then we are going, going forward. How the alert rule was triggered on which basis on which long ways it was triggered. So we know that Sigma signature long ways is a detection long ways that basis on events or logs, it will generate a alerts. So Sigma signature long ways is compatible for the Splunk, Microsoft Sentinel, CrowdStrike, etc. etc. Then we can see here the rule regarding title is windows important schedule task has been deleted it was written by the author and description set we have discussed already and the detection rule condition and not filter in the filter we have kept username contains these two users like if a user author i or author oi is there don't trigger the alert other than this username is there trigger the alert and selection we have kept event ID or event code as 141. So we will further discussion. We are going forward and we will discuss about what is event ID and what is event code 141 or uh, describers and task name contains one of the paths. Okay. What exactly this path contains? We will also discuss just wait and watch. Uh, alert level is critical. This is a Windows product and it uh, service for the task scheduler and the log type is Windows. Now we will click on alert data based on the rules. The alert matches some logs and events. It was triggered on which log it was triggered. We can see from here. The agent type is Windows log event and the event action is task registration related. Some task has been scheduled in the backend process, but it has been deleted. Why it has been deleted, we need to investigate further. And the, in the event channel is task scheduler. Event code is 141 or event ID is also 141. Event data set is task scheduler. Event module is Windows. In the events provider is Microsoft Windows scheduler. In the host name is BHC 00112. And on BHC triple zero one one two host, something has been occurred like task registration deleted. Log type is Windows. And coming forward, the username is system. If the username is author I, author O, the alert should not trigger because we have kept a filter that these users are legitimate users. These users automatically we will filter from the rule itself. And we know that task name is something has up uh, given some path. So on what basis the rule has been triggered is event ID 141 and along with that task name should be one of the provided list should be occur. Okay. Microsoft Windows update orchestrator. This is there and we will forward, uh, navigate to the rule once again. And if we check event ID is 141 and task name contains that Windows update orchestrator. Regarding these two fields, we got an error triggered. So moving forward, 
we will discuss what is even code 141 okay in this even code 141 the windows or microsoft states that kernel event that uses related to driver conflict or corruption what is exactly mean in the backend or process related task where the hardware failure occurs or network failure occurs the task registration process will be corrupted this is the thing event 141 states and going forward we can also state that what is that microsoft windows orchestrator does update orchestrator is a api for windows that schedule automatic software updates in the windows system so if we navigate into the microsoft learn it will give the whole documentation regarding update orchestrator api related data so that i concluded from here it is a false positive alert but in some scenarios like case one we will discuss about case one we are a mssp like a managed SOC service provider where we are the third party services we are giving uh, services to some x company so this alert has been occurred in our company to the client what we need to do we have two types of uh, contact one is ticketing tool and another one is email so if we have ticketing tool access we will generate a ticket that a so and so uh, host has this username some task has been deleted whether this uh, process has been listimate or not if it is not listimate uh, we are going to provide a further investigation this is case one we will directly contact client or the uh, client by using ticketing tool or email the case number two internal SOC for example I am a uh, SOC analyst for uh, Google or Microsoft some X company I am providing SOC internally like in the same company same product or same for my only company i am going to provide my sock from at this moment what i exactly do the do this is i'll contact that user directly via teams or google chat there something has happened in your system whether it is a legitimate activity or not i will take confirmation from the user and the third scenario is hybrid sock when a product has been given to the clients that the SOC is providing also the same product. At this moment, what exactly we can do is we can raise a ticket or we can raise a mail also. How a user can check himself whether this has happened or not. So moving forward, just navigate into the window system and just type event viewer so i'll open the event viewer okay fine the, what exactly event viewer each and every click or each and every uh, action we have performed in the windows is called as an event thing number one so here the alert states that some scheduled task has been deleted regarding this we are have come to the event viewer local and navigate to the application and service logs come to microsoft and click on the windows now directly we can get so many types of log services here directly navigate into the particular service like we are having a schedule tasks task scheduler related activities and click on the task scheduler related activities and while we have clicked on this task scheduler we we have two types of events will be provided by the microsoft one is maintenance and one is operational so in the maintenance there are one mb related events total 945 events are provided and operational there is nothing is there so it's zero bytes so when i click here i'll uh, get to know about that there are so many events are there so if i open any event uh, regarding that event what what is happened what the log name it is what event id it is why does this happen what has been done so like this a user can check himself that what exactly happened in the system so finally i conclude that 
this is a false positive that because when a user try to update their systems in the windows through uh, uh, update orchestrator via microsoft due to hardware failure or network failure the task registration has been deleted due to which the alert has been triggered through event code 141 or the task name update orchestrator so i will provide a dismiss comment here so what exactly the dismiss comment would be upon investigation i discovered that a user attempted to update the windows system however due to the hardware net hardware or network failure the process or task either deleted or cancelled in the back end so finally i conclude this is a false positive alert and i dismiss from here so what exactly you people can do is you can write your own invest uh, dismiss reason here and you can convert the dismiss reason using chat gpt make it as professional one so this is how a SOC analyst work in the production or industry level SOC. And this is the final thing we are concluding here. It is a false positive. In upcoming lectures, we are going to discuss about other types of alerts also. Thanks for joining. Subscribe.